Beth with Thimble Hooks, and today I'm going to show you what I call my stained glass window spike stitch. There are so many spike stitches out there, um, but this is the one that I that I really like. I just think it's fun. It's I'm using a solid color yarn and a multicolor yarn. So here's my multicolor yarn. The other one is just Red Heart Super Saver Erin, and then this one is ooh, I don't remember. I lost the tag. I lost the tag. But it's just a whole bunch of great shades of uh, purple and blue. And this looks really cute. Here's one that I did with a really dark blue. And see the little stained glass windows? This one is perfect. That's where I got the name because this is absolutely a stained glass window. <laughs> I think it's fun. And here's what it looks like in sing well, with the just single tones. So there's this is just white and this is just a ob really obnoxious orange which I love. So it really stands out nicely when you use contrasting colors. This one's pink and Erin. Pink and off-white. This one is one of my favorites with all these shades of purple and everything here. These are nice. These first few rows right here that I worked with a, a four millimeter hook and these ones I worked with a five millimeter hook just so you could see what the difference would be and how big your windows are. So down here they're kind of tiny but then up here they're getting way bigger. So you can really show off a fun pattern swirly yarn and get get some nice colors in there with this nice little border so I'm going to use a five today which is what I should be using for the yarn that I'm using today anyway just to make sure that my stitches are nice and big and everybody can see them instead of using the four like I did down here I'm going to use a five like I did up here so the windows will be that just that much bigger and again, I have two colors that I don't have the bands for, which is silly. I know that this one is Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn. I don't remember which color. And this one is a standard color from, uh, from Michaels. But I thought these would look really nice today, so that's where we're going to start. Okay, so I have my five millimeter hook and we are going to start with start with the color that you want in the window right here if you're going to show off some like this with the really bright orange you want that to show off or if you want to show all this gradient pattern in here that's what you start with so we're just going to make a slip knot really easy any way you want to make a slip knot and then we're going to chain any multiple of three so you make really wide. If you want to make a blanket, you can make it tiny. If you want to make a little scarf, or if you just want to make a swatch, we're going to do 15. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. There's our multiple of three. There's my 15. Oh, that's my over for right now. And now in the back bump, all the way down, turn our work just a little bit so you can see all these back bumps. We want to work a single crochet into each one of those. So we will end up with 14 single crochets for this row. This is an amazingly easy stitch to get something so cute with the little windows that are peeking out. It's really, really simple. Here's my last couple stitches in the back bumps. There's two left. And there is number 14 for my first row. Those 14 single crochets. Really easy. We're going to chain one, turn our work, and do the exact same thing one more time in this same color, single crochet all the way down. All right, there's my last stitch. We're not going to complete that stitch. Almost done. Now it's time to add the green we're going to add color number two or color B. 
So right before we finish this stitch right here, we're going to add this yarn and finish the stitch this way. And a chain one. Lock that in place. Don't make it too tight, but you want to tighten them up just a little bit. Don't make it too tight, otherwise it'll all pucker up. So we're going to turn our work and this go. Now this pass we're going to do in the back loop only. So not here, not the whole stitch. We want to go in the back loop only and do a single crochet. And do that one more time. So those are the first two. Now for the third stitch, we're going to make a long single crochet, which means we don't go here. We go one further down. So not here, like a normal one, go a little bit further down. We're going to grab our yarn, pull it through, and pull up on it a little bit so that it's nice and long, and finish our single crochet. See, now it's all the way down here. And repeat those three stitches again. Back loop only, back loop only, and a long single crochet. Back loop only, back loop only, and a long single crochet. A single crochet in the back loop of this one and this one. And now we want to go down and make a long single crochet. So you pull up a little bit, so this is going to be a little bit longer than normal. Finish your single crochet, and the last two are back loop only single crochets. See how simple that is. It is amazingly easy. Chain one and turn your work. Now the next row of green is easy peasy. It's another row of regular old single crochet all the way across. So again, there's 14 in my little swatch that I'm making. So we're just going to do 14 single crochets. All right, let's finish this row. Last couple of stitches. And then we're going to change colors again. Every two rows we change color. So right before we finish this stitch, don't quite finish it. We've got two loops on our hook. And bring up the first color. Now we're going to be in the window. I'll tighten it up a little bit, but not too much. Don't pull it together too much. Don't tighten it up too much because this will get all bunched up and you don't want that to happen. Just a little bit. Like that. And a chain to make sure you lock that in place. Now this whole next row with our color A is back loop single crochet all the way across. So back loop only all the way across. I told you this was amazingly simple. It looks like it would be fancy and it's not. It's a lot of single crochets. Looks like it's be tricky. It is absolutely not tricky in any way. So here we go. We're getting down to the end. All right. So there is that row. We do two rows with each color. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. Single crochet all the way down to the other end. 14 single crochets in this swatch. Very, very, very simple. And since this was the second row, here's my last stitch. We have to change colors. So we're going to do halfway through two loops on our hook. Pull up our green. Not too tight, but a little bit. Don't want it to get all bunched up right in here. Make sure you have a little wiggle room. All right, so we're going to turn our work. And when we're starting a new row, it's always back loop only. And since this one is the one with the spike, we're going to do two single crochets in the back loop only. And then we're going to go all the way down to the green. So we're going to do a single crochet, not here, but all the way down here to the green, right above that other spike. 
and you pull up on it a little bit and finish your stitch. So you have enough yarn to make this a nice long stitch. Then the next two is back loop only single crochets. And then we want to go all the way down here. See here's the top of our, here's the previous stitch, long, long stitch, and then we want to go right above it. So we're going to go here, pull up on the green, and finish our stitch. And then these two, it's back loop only. And all the way down to here. Back loop only for two. All the way down. And make that a nice long stitch. And the last two are back loop only. And that was the first row of this section of two for green. So we chain one and turn our work. And now it's just a row of single crochet all the way down. Be our row, our second row of green for this little section. So you see this is all just repeating. It's an amazingly simple repeat. And it's all single crochets. But it looks kind of fancy, I think. Here's our last couple stitches in this row. Oopsie. One and one more. Now since we have to change colors, we're only going to do a halfway through. Two loops on our hook. Grab the colorful yarn again. Again, we want to finish that stitch and chain one. Tighten that up just a smidge. Not very much. Turn our work. And with this color, our first row is entirely, all these stitches will be back loop only. So again, a whole bunch of single crochets in the back loop only. All the way down. Because this isn't the one that has the spike, this is the window. the first row of that one. We do two rows of every color, so we're going to chain one, turn our work, and single crochet all the way back down to meet up with our green so we can change color one more time. This is just the window area, or the window color, not the spiky color, so it's just single, single crochets all the way down. The first pass is back loop only. This pass is a straight up single crochet. Really easy. Really, really easy. And there's the last one. But now I'm meeting up with the green because it's time to change colors. Don't finish this stitch. I have two loops on my hook. And we're going to pull up the green. We'll do one more row. Pull up the green and finish that stitch and a chain one. Turn our work. And the first two stitches of this row are back loop only single crochets. And then we go all the way down into the green with our long single crochet. So instead of here, going all the way down into the green, pull up enough where it's not too tight and finish the stitch. and finish that stitch. Now in the next two, there'll be back loops only. And then we'll get to this one, go right in here. See right above this stitch right here, we're going to go right there. And do a long stitch. So you pull up, whoops, pull up and grab all of the yarn instead of just part of it. And pull it up long enough where this is not super tight. Then these two are back loop only. Get it right above this long stitch from before, right here. Bam. And then we'll go
back loop only, back loop only, and our long stitch right above this stitch. Grab and pull up a little bit just so you have a little bit of slack. And then the last two are back loop only. Such an easy repeat. It's just so simple. Now we're going to chain one, turn our work, and single crochet all the way down. Which is what we've been doing for every row of the green. Or every set of two. Every section of green. Just a regular old single crochet all the way down. Goes really fast. And one more. Now again, we don't want to finish that stitch. We want to change colors. So pull up the colorful yarn, finish that stitch, and a chain one. Isn't that cute? It's just adorable. I love this. I just love this little stitch. So you can see why I call it stained glass window. All right. So when we're doing the we're doing the colorful one again, I like to end with the same color that I started with. It just makes it look a little bit more symmetrical, even though it's not going to be exactly right. It looks that way because this is a window without a spike all the way down. So we are going to do back loop only all the way down with our colorful one. Almost done with this row. Back loops only all the way down. And there's my last one. We have to do another pass of that. So chain one, turn our work. And for the second row, it is always a regular single crochet through both loops like normal. Very, very simple. And there's my last two stitches. Now I'm going to finish it off because we're kind of done with this little swatch. And when you get to the end, like this, finish off this without doing a the next row of spike. It kind of looks like this, but not exactly, but it is so close that you really wouldn't notice because this is a single crochet and a single crochet, but then the spike goes into it a smidge. Up here, you would just end. And there is a right side and a wrong side, but just barely. You can see this is the right side because it has a nice straight line from our back loop only. Back here, if you turn it over, you can see where we did our back loop onlys, but it still looks nice. It's still, I would still consider this reversible, but this would be the right side. There you go. Isn't that just adorable? This is a great way to showcase some fun yarn that you found and you don't really know what to do with. It's a great way to showcase it. Find a coordinating solid color and make a scarf or a blanket or anything like that. This would be so cute. So there you have it. I hope you like my stained glass window spike stitch. So cute. You can do that with just about any yarn you want to, any combination. If you think it looks nice, it's going to look great with this stitch. So thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for supporting my small business, and I'll see you real soon. Thanks. Bye.